You're watching PNN, the Parody News Network. Hello and welcome to PNN. I'm James Rowlands. We have breaking news at the top of the hour. An elderly husband and wife who were both residents of the same nursing home died overnight, but were evidently able to depart this world together. For more on this story, we go to senior correspondent Gina Garland. Gina, what do you have? Yes, thank you, James. The elderly residents in question, Duke and Allie Callum, sharing an incredible journey together that reached its end last night. <laughs> As they died peacefully in the same bed, holding one another's hands. <laughs> Gina. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, right? So the couple first met in 1940 at a carnival in Seabrook Island, South Carolina. Duke, who was then known as Noah, was a poor lumber mill worker and Allie was an heiress. They began a summer romance that Allie's parents disapproved of. After that foolish breakup, Allie couldn't find Noah before her family left Seabrook Island, so she asked Noah's friend Finn to tell him. <sighs> that she loved him. Noah rushed to Allie's house, but she was gone. <sighs> okay, all right, I can do this. So. Allie wound up engaged to Captain Long Hammond Jr., who she met during World War II, but then, while getting fitted for her wedding dress, she saw a story in the newspaper about Noah and eventually returned to him. And then... Christ, every time we do a story like this. You have no heart, James. You have no concept of romance. This story is beautiful. This story is shallow, sugar-coated, vapid, exploitative, and absurd. It's drivel. What? It is not. This is a heartwarming, heart-wrenching, poignant, emotional, forceful tale of romance. <laughs> it's unadulterated pap. You make me so mad. All right, tell you what. Let's check in with some of the other correspondents, see what they think. Senior correspondent Amy McAdams, your thoughts on this story. It's postcard perfect. Senior correspondent Bob Gosling? <sighs> Senior Correspondent Kathy Amber. An honest and sincere story about two people that never stopped loving each other until their very last moments together. Senior Correspondent Emily Fisher. Heartbreaking and uplifting. And finally, senior correspondent, Frank Schaff. A boring, heartless, bloodless pseudo-romance. Well, that settles that. No, it doesn't. Not by a long shot. We'll continue bringing you updates on this story as long as your pancreas can stand it. Hey! So stay tuned. We'll be right back. been watching PNN.